hello viewers welcome to another video in the previous video i showed how to model the parts of this 3d model step by step using the part design sketch of fasteners and part and also how to assemble the parts using the improved transform tool in freecad version 1.1 this time in this video i'm going to show you two other ways to assemble parts using the draft move tool and FreeCAD is built in assembly workbench. You will see how to limit the rotation of the 3D models using the built in assembly workbench of FreeCAD. Let's go, let's take a look at how I do it. First of all, I will open the document which contains the designed parts, which is this document in the recent files area. I will click on it to open. Next, I will go to File and click in Save as option and save the document as Part Draft Move Tool. Double click and yes. And I will go to the tree view, select these three light objects and delete. And now, to assemble the parts using the Draft Move Tool, I will start by resetting the angles and the positions in the X, Y, and Z direction for these all objects. I will start selecting the objects from the Part 2. Control key, part 3, part 4, and part 5. And now I'll go to the properties. I go to placement in angle, I set 0 degrees. Now I go to position in the y direction, I set 0, and in the z direction, I set 0. And I'll click off. And next in the review, I will delete the part object, this one here. I will select this object and delete. And next I will move to the draft workbench, for that I will click on the workbench selector and select draft workbench. Okay, next I'm going to hide three parts here. I will hide the part 3, the part 4 and the part 5. With these three parts selected, I will hit space part to hide it from the 3D view. Now I will hide the grid pressing this icon. Now let's suppose that I want to connect this part to here to the part 1 using the draft move tool. For that, first I need to select the part rule in the tree view and then go to this task panel and click on the move tool icon, this icon. And now I will move this part by selecting each sheet and place the part here. With this part tool selected, I will click on the move tool again. This time I will zoom in here and I will pick the center point of this circular edge here. I will click on this edge. And next I will go to the side here of this part one and I will pick the center of this circular edge here. If I click on it, as you see, now I have the part two connected to the part one. Okay, now let's suppose that I want to rotate this part two here in the X axis. For that we have this tool here, the rotate tool, but I prefer to rotate the model in its placement properties. For example, I will select the part 2 in the tree view and go to the properties and I go to angle. I will change here to 105 degrees, like this, and hit enter. I will close the start page and now I will change to right view. As you can see, I have this, but I have a small problem here. I will connect these two, I will connect these two parts again. For that, first I will select the part 2 in the tree view and click in the move tool and now I will click in this shape here and move to here and now with this part 2 selected in the tree view, I will click in the draft move tool again and now I will pick the center of this circular edge and then go to this part 1 here and pick the center of this circular edge here and now I have this. And now I want to connect the part 3 in the part 2. For that, first I will make the part 3 visible. I will select it in the tree view and hit space part to make it visible. And now with this selected, I will click in draft move tool and move the part to here. And now I will rotate this model in the X axis. For that, I select the part 3, I go to angle and now I will set 45 degrees here. And I will select the part 3 and now click in the draft move tool. As you can see, these tools here, the draft snap tools is activated. The snap end point and the snap midpoint and also the snap center is activated. So I will zoom in here and next I will pick the center of this circular edge. Okay, and now I will zoom in here and click in this edge of this part 2. As you can see, I have this. 
The next thing that I want to do is to connect the part 4 and the part 1. To do that, first I will make the part 4 visible. I will select it and space part. Okay, now I will zoom in here. With the part 4 selected, I will click on the draft move tool. I will move this part to here. With the part 4 selected, I will click on the draft move tool again. I will zoom in here and click on this circle edge. And now I will rotate the view and zoom in here. In the part 1, I will click in this edge. Okay, and I have this as you can see. The next thing that I want to do is to connect the part 5 and the part 1. First, I will select the part 5 and make it visible by pressing spacebar. I will select the part 5 and go to the draft move tool and move the part to here. And now I will zoom in here. With this part 5 selected in the tree view, I will click in the draft move tool again. And now I will zoom in and click in this edge here. And now in the part one, I will click in this edge. Now I want copies of the part five and the part four in this hole here. To do that, the first thing that I'm going to do is to add a part object to the review. For that, I will click in this icon. And next I will select the part four and hold control key and select the part five. And now I will click in the draft clone tool. I will move these two objects into this part object. And now with this part one selected, I will click in the draft move tool. I will zoom in here and I will pick the center of this circular edge. Okay, I will zoom in here in this hole and next I will click in this edge. As you can see here, I have this. So this is how we can use the draft move tool to assemble parts in FreeCAD. The next thing that I want to show you is how to assemble parts using the built-in assembly workbench of Rika, the assembly workbench. For that, first I will change to the assembly workbench. I will click in workbench selector and click in assembly workbench. And now I will save this document first and I will create another document. For that, I will click in file and go to save as option. I will save this document as parts assembly workbench. Double click and yes. Okay, in the assembly workbench, the first thing that I'm going to do is to delete the part object. I will select the part object and delete. And next I will restart the angles and the positions in the X, Y and Z direction for all objects. I will select these three, I will select these four objects because they are part one. If I select the part one, as you can see, I have 0, 0, 0, 0 here. Okay, so reason why I will select only these parts here, these four parts. And then I'll go to placement and set 0, go to position and set 0 for the X duration and 0 for the Y duration and 0 for the Z duration. And I have this, as you can see. Next, I will add a group object to the review. I will click on this icon and now I have this. I will select the group object and rename it to parts pressing F2. And now I will select this all parts and drag it into this parts group. Okay, if I expand the tree, as you can see, I have this all parts inside this parts group here in the interview. Okay, now to assemble these all parts using the assembly workbench, the first thing that I need to do is to add the assembly object to the review. For that, I will click on this icon. And as you can see, now I have this assembly object in the review. Okay, and now I will select the parts group and hit spacebar to hide all parts in the 3D view. Okay, now I will compress this parts group. With the assembly object selected, I'm going to import parts into it. I will click on this icon and I will import the part one. I will click on this part. And here I will click yes because I want to grant the part one. So I will click yes here. And next I will import the part two and the part three and now the part four. And also the part five. And next I will click OK to finish this import. Okay, now that I have the parts inside the assembly object, I can start connecting the parts using the fixed joint or the revolute joint. 
Okay, first I will click on the Alt key and I will move this part to here and also this part to here and this one to here and next this part to here. I will zoom in in the part 2. I will click on this edge here, this circle edge. Hold Ctrl key, rotate the video. Uh, next, click on this edge of this hole. And now I will place a revolute joint. For that, I will click on this icon, revolute joint. And I have this, as you can see. Now I press OK here. And now if I press home on my keyboard and zoom in here and press the Alt key and select the shape and then try to rotate. As you can see, I can do this. And next I want to connect the part three and the part two. To do that, the first thing that I will do is to zoom in and select this circular edge, hold Ctrl key and rotate the video and then select this edge here. And now I will go to the revolute joint and click in its icon. And now I have this, I press arm and then I press OK. Uh, next I click on the Alt key and I rotate this model. As you can see I have this. I will change to right view and rotate a little bit this model. Okay, now I want to assemble this part in the part one. To do that, first I will zoom in here and select this edge. And now rotate the video, zoom out and zoom in here in this placement. Hold Ctrl key and select this edge of this hole and I will place a fixed joint I will click on I will click in this icon and then press OK press home and now I zoom in here I select this edge and I go to here hold ctrl key and then I select this circular edge and now I place a fixed joint by pressing this icon and now OK Okay, now I want copies of the part 4 and part 5 in this hole. To do that, it's very simple. I will import the parts again. I will select the assembly object and then click on this icon. And now I will click on the part 4 and in the part 5. And now as you can see, I have these two copies. I press OK here and next I will zoom in here. I will select this edge of the part 4. Zoom out, rotate the view, zoom in here and select this edge of this hole and then place a fixed joint. And OK here, home, and now I zoom in here, I select this edge of, of the part 5 copy. And next I zoom in here in this hole, I hold the control key and I select this circular edge and then I place a fixed joint. And OK here. And this is the final assembly. If I press the Alt key and then select this shape and move the mouse, as you can see, I can rotate the model because I am using a revolute joint for this model. I can do the same for this model here. I press the Alt key and then I select this shape and move the mouse. As you can see, I can rotate it. Okay. Also, I can apply limits to the to the rotation of these two parts here. For example, I want to limit the rotation of this part here. To do that, I need to go to the reflux joint of this part here. I will go to the assembly object. I click in, I expand the tree of the joints. And then I go to the first revolut joint. Double click. I will zoom in here, press the Alt key and rotate this part to here. Okay, and I will set this angle as the mean angle. I will check this option and set minus 175 degrees. I will press the Alt key and then select the model and rotate it. As you can see, check max angle and I will set here, for example, zero degrees. And now I will see what happens here. I will press the Alt key and rotate this model. As you can see, I have this. I will press OK to finish this. Uh, next, I will go to the roughly joint 001 for this model here. But first, I will click on the Alt key and rotate this model to see if it's all fine here. So it's all fine. Next, I will double click the revolute 001 and I will change to right view. And as you can see, I have this. 
I will change here to 9 degrees and press the Alt key and try to rotate the model. Okay, here should be 5 degrees and here should be 175 degrees. I'll press the Alt key again and see what happens. And now as you can see, I have this. I will press OK here. I will press the Alt key again and see if it's all correct and yes. I will rotate this model to here and now I will rotate this one to here and it's all fine. Okay viewers, this is how we can use the built-in assembly workbench of FreeCAD to assembly parts and simulate motion and also and also limit the rotation of a uh, model. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. And if you want to support the content of the channel, you can do that. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to the channel's core 5 page. Or you can support the channel by buying the ebooks that's appearing on the screen now. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.